Yeah, I'll send over the video now. It shouldn't take too long. <gasps> if you have a video you need to send to someone, upload to the web, or just store somewhere, you probably know how frustrating large file sizes can be. Hey, I'm Owen from Wondershare's Uniconverter, and today I'm gonna show you the best way to reduce file size without losing quality. So let's get straight into it. But before that, if this isn't your first time here, make sure to subscribe so you can stay up to date with all the latest features of Wondershare's Uniconverter and get more useful tips and tricks like this. Now let's ask the question, should you even be compressing your footage? What are the benefits? Well, a compressed file will take up less storage, be quicker when you wanna send or upload it, and it will be less intense on your computer when you're editing. So if you've got super fast internet and a high-end PC or Mac, then you may not need to compress your videos unless you're storing them. But if you're not on a top spec device and don't have lightning fast internet, then compression might be the way to go for you. But if you're still on the fence and unsure if you want slightly higher quality or a smaller file size, then let's quickly compare the difference. This is the uncompressed video at 4K, and this is the compressed video. So can you see a difference? Make sure you've turned your quality as high as it will go on the device you're on, and then just take a look to see if you can really see the difference. And if you can see a difference, is that worth this difference in file size? Well, that'll be up to you. So now let's look at actually how you do this. Okay, so now we're in Wondershare's Uniconverter, and to get to the compressor, you can either go into Tools, and then compressor, or when you're on your home, you can just hit the big green one at the top, which is also your compressor. Now, like it says on here, you can double click to add new files and start compressing them. Or what I'm gonna do is I'm going to drag and drop mine on. And this is the introduction of this video that you've just watched. You can see now this was a gigabyte before at 4K, and now this is going to be between 358 megabytes and 716. Or we can hit this icon and you should see this bubble. You can hit don't show this again and close it and you can change how much you want. So if you have a specific file size you need to get to, say you've been told this needs to be under 500 megabytes, you can just drag this down until this top number is 500 megabytes and just below. Now for this, I wanna push up to the highest in the green and then I'm gonna do the lowest in the green and then I'm gonna do the minimum, which is 10%. This is just for me to show you as a test to see what the difference really is. So if I hit now compress, and we're just gonna wait. Okay, so now this is done, we can come over into the finish tab. We can either hit to play it straight out of Wondershare's Uniconverter, or we can come over here and click on this, and that's gonna show us it in our finder. So you can see what was a gigabyte file now, now in the higher level of the recommended range is 766 meg. In the lower end is 594, so just after half the file size at, and 101 megabytes at that lowest level. So I'm gonna put a clip of all of them up on the screen and let us know in the comments if you can see the difference and if you think that difference is worth the file size. So I hope you found this video useful. If you did, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe down below. And I'll see you next time. Bye.